everyone, thanks for clicking on my very first video. My name is Zadina with Canaweld, and today I'm going to be going over the TIG ACDC 201 Pulse D. I'll be showing you everything that's included with the package as well as going over the settings and showing you how to set up your machine for the very first time. Let's get started. The 201 Pulse D is a 200 amp dual voltage machine, which means you can run it off 120 or 240 volts. The machine itself only weighs about 30 pounds, making it really portable and easy to carry around. It's an all metal enclosure and uses very high quality parts. It's a 100% duty cycle at 110 amps in DC and 100% duty cycle at 160 amps in AC. So let's start by turning on the machine and we'll go over some of the settings. All right, so when you first turn on the machine, the fan runs for a couple seconds and then shuts down. Now let's go over some of the settings. What you have here is your gas purge. So this will activate free flowing gas to purge out your lines uh, without using high frequency or having to touch your torch or foot pedal. It's also useful if you just wanna check or change your flow rate. The next one here is the high frequency. So on if you're using a foot pedal or your trigger, if you turn it off, you're using the machine in lift start. This right here is your pulse, two-step and four-step. So the way two-step works is let's assume you're using a trigger on your torch. In two-step, you would press the trigger, hold it down, weld, release the trigger to stop welding. Four-step works a little bit different. In four-step, you want to press your trigger to initiate the arc, release it, weld. Then when you want to stop, finish your weld, press the trigger again, and that will extinguish the arc. This one here is your AC and DC. So AC obviously for aluminum welding and DC for stainless and steel. This mode over here is your stick mode. It has arc force and hot start. Now, when you are in stick mode, the machine's fan does run constantly. So I'm not gonna turn that on right now. All right, now I'll take you through the weld graph cycle. So the first one here is your pre-flow. That's the amount of seconds you are going to get gas flowing before your arc starts. Right here is your upslope, goes up to 10 seconds. Now, it's important to note that when you don't touch anything on the machine for about three seconds, it's gonna default back to your amperage. So this right here is your amps. It goes all the way up to 200 amps. Next is your downslope and your post flow. Post flow goes up to 10 seconds, but more than likely you would never need that much. So also not all of the settings are accessible. It depends what mode you're in. For example, you have to be in AC to access your frequency and your balance. So right here, I can adjust my balance to 50. Usually don't need more than 30 for most applications. And if I cycle all the way back here, this goes into my frequency, so how many hertz. And that kind of is regulated by what you have your peak amperage set at. So if I have my peak amperage set at 200 right now, the AC frequency only allows me to go up to 100 hertz. All right, now I'll show you how to set up your torch and your cables. So your TIG torch always goes into the negative terminal, straight polarity. The ground clamp into the positive. Gas hose is a quick connect. And this nine pin connection here is either for your torch remote or your foot pedal if you're using one. All right, now that your machine's plugged in, set up and ready to use, I'm gonna show you what comes in the box. 200 amp air cooled 26 series TIG torch with flex head, all metal foot
foot pedal, 10 foot electrode holder, a mixed pack of tungsten, a number seven and number eight cup with two collets, two collet bodies, one long back cap, medium and short, a plug adapter for plugging into 120, ground clamp, single stage all brass regulator, and argon hose. So there you have it. That was an overview of the, all the features and settings of our TIG ACDC 201 Pulse D. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'd be happy to answer them. Make sure you follow us on our socials, which will be linked in the description box down below. You can also go to canawell.com to learn about our other machines and products. Thanks so much for watching. My name's Adina. Have a great day.